Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do your love reading. Uh, I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. Thank you for joining. Um, please know that this reading may not resonate with every Aries out there. Okay, so just take the details and messages that are important to you. You can check out your other signs, your other placements. There is a... Uh, link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, there will be an extended link uh, below if you'd like to check out the extended reading. And then lastly, I'll just say I do give away free personal readings each month. To enter, you just need to subscribe and like. So with that, your cards are already popping out here. I'm going to pull two cards uh, from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart Oracle. Okay, there's your second message here. All right, so you have here number 12, which is observe. This is three, okay? So I feel this is an energy here that right now you're needing to take a step back, okay? Take a step back because I do see on the bottom of the deck, you also have the solar plexus chakra, which is also a number three, repeating threes. So if you're seeing repeating threes, this is definitely going to validate how you're feeling. But what I'm getting here is I feel like Spirit is saying you're gonna you need to take a step back here, kind of look at the big picture, kind of observe, um, you know what is happening in your life or maybe in your love life right now. I do feel like there are some emotions here maybe built up in your solar plexus chakra. That's the area right below your rib cage. Okay, so a lot of times we tend to. Um, hold those emotions in that area. All right. So I feel right now spirit is saying, take some time to yourself. All right. This also can be an energy like maybe you're not needing to take any action at this time um, to see, you know, how things play out, right? Going with the flow is what I'm getting here. You may need to observe somebody else's actions, but you also have here number nine, which is well-deserved, okay? So there is some sort of, I feel here, number nine here, some sort of um, wish or reward, something here that is gonna come into play, okay? So maybe they're saying here, you don't need to take any action, maybe sit back, let it grow, let it manifest, because there is some sort of reward coming out of this situation, okay? So let's pull some tarot. We'll see what additional messages come out. Uh, we will pull two, uh, two, or sorry, three cards for your energy, three cards for your person. We'll get the mutual energy and then we'll clarify the energies as well. Okay, so let's get started here, Aries. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Okay, tell Aries in love. Let's get Aries energy in love. Let's get Aries energy in love. All right. So you have here, okay, Ten of Swords. You have there the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, there's that emotion. Eight of Cups. Let's get your person's energy. Okay, you have the King of Swords. You have the Ten of Cups, very nice. You have the Devil card. Let's uh, get the mutual energy for you and your person. We'll see if this turns out to be new love or somebody already here in your life. King of Cups, Eight of Wands, Four of Cups. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, you do have the judgment card. All right. So I definitely see, <clears throat> excuse me, Aries. I definitely see here with the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. I'm going to start here with this Ten of Swords. I do feel like there is a situation here that may have come to an end. All right. That might be why I'm seeing here that you need to take a step back. Not really take any action, but just kind of take a step back. Maybe do some meditating. You know, maybe um, just kind of evaluate things, what I'm hearing here, because I do feel like there is something here manifesting for you, okay? So, you know, there may have been some sort of ending, something very hurtful to you, but what you don't see with this card is that there is a new beginning. There is a new dawn of light, okay? So even if you are feeling, you know, um, betrayed in a situation, very hurt, 
Okay, you may be going through some healing at this time. I see here with the Eight of Cups, there's definitely something here that you were feeling, and that's that, that emotion I was talking about here with the solar plexus. Okay, something here that was not satisfying, and I feel that it came to an end, not necessarily through your actions, but it can be. I feel this came to an end because, you know, there was something unsatisfying about it, okay? So... Maybe you walked away from a situation here, okay? This can also be, you know, if you don't have anybody in your life or you didn't recently come out of a relationship, this could just be stemming from past hurts, right? Not feeling satisfied with past relationships, how they turned out, right? And now you're in search for something better. I see with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel right now you're taking time to reflect on this, whether it was a recent connection or relationship. It could be even if you are in a relationship, there could have been something that happened here that was very hurtful, very painful for you, okay, not feeling satisfied. But I see you reflecting on all of this. I see you reflecting on the time and the energy you've spent on this situation, okay? Now, Bottom of the deck here, you do have the judgment card, all right? So um, I get two uh, scenarios here. For some of you, I feel there is a new love coming in for you. And for others, I feel there is a return of somebody here, okay? You have um, the King of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and you have the Devil card. So you've got strong Capricorn energy, you have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and you have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel for some of you, this person here is returning, okay? That is going to be a temptation for you, all right? I feel that this person here, um, I, I do sense that you're going to get some sort of communication from this person. I feel that this person is very analytical. Um, I feel that this person is very, you know, pays attention to the details here. But I do sense here with this devil card, you know, if you're not dealing with a Capricorn, I feel there could be um, something unhealthy here about this connection, okay? Now, they do see you as the Ten of Cups here. They do see you as somebody that could be very happy with, right? I feel with these two swans, what I'm getting here, you know, not just love, but I'm also getting here like you are the light in their life, okay? I feel like they see you as... Uh, somebody that is very um, maybe intellectual, they enjoy conversations here, you make this person happy. But there's something here with that devil card, okay? And that might be the part here where you're unsatisfied with. So we'll, we'll clarify that. For others, I feel this could be a new person coming in for you because you have the king of cups here and you have the eight of wands. So I definitely get some uh, communication coming towards you. Okay, romantic, passionate communication. This could even be somebody traveling to you from a distance. Now, with this King of Cups, I do feel like this person has um, a lot of feelings for you, all right? They may not express it, okay? But I do sense here this is somebody um, who... You know, the King of Cups can be somebody who doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve, but it doesn't mean that they're not genuine, they're not kind, right? I feel that this person, either they have a lot of love for you or they're going to have a lot of love for you, okay? If it's a new person, we're going to clarify these cards and we'll dig deeper. You have the Four of Cups, okay? So some of you, you know, if you just came out of a relationship and this is a new person here, I don't know that you are ready, okay? Because it's, it's, it seems that you are hesitant to to accept this offer, okay? Because I feel like there could be somebody else here you're still healing from, right? But remember, you have that well-deserved reward. So the universe here is offering you this one cup, okay? This one cup, but you're not looking at it. Now, what I always say with this card, the universe is presenting some sort of offer, okay? Very well, could be this king of cups, could be a water sign, what they're saying here is at least investigate the offer. There's no harm in investigating what this person has to say. Or if it's somebody new coming into your life, it's there's no harm in, in seeing what it's all about. Okay, but some of you, you know, you may not be ready. You may be still healing from this situation. So let's clarify uh, some of these cards. Okay. Thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. 
I'm going to clarify this devil card in your person's energy. I want to say we also have Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini on the board. If I didn't say that already, we also have fire, uh, your energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Why is the devil card here? Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords. Okay. So this is somebody here that is obsessively thinking about you, okay? They're, they are also, look at that, the two of you are mirroring each other. Seven of Pentacles in both the energies. So your person is mirroring you, but you both are thinking about um, investing, okay? Either if this is somebody that uh, you're dealing with, the both of you are thinking about the time that you've invested into this connection, into this relationship, for others, if this is a new um, person here, I feel that this may be somebody here who they're thinking about investing, right? Investing coming your way, investing in you, right? So let's uh, maybe somebody too who has a good uh, accumu uh, accumulation of finances. I'm hearing that as well. Now you have the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and you have the Two of Wands, okay? So I feel like this person is really thinking a lot about you, okay? I feel there's some sort of timing here. This person um, may have been through a lot of challenges, maybe feeling, you know, if, if they did betray you, I feel like this person is definitely obsessively thinking about that. We saw the Judgment card earlier, so I feel this is somebody who, you know, they may be going through some karma right now that is giving them that wake up call, right? And now, you know, they're going through some, some challenges here, thinking about the situation, thinking about the future. This person's still attached to you here with the two of wands. I feel this person is uh, coming back around, uh, maybe to make things right here with you. We'll see when we clarify the cards. But this is somebody who is definitely looking towards the future. And as I said, for somebody, this could be somebody who lives at a distance. Now, if this is a new person, this could be somebody here who is uh, coming out of a relationship here or just came out of some sort of breakup. This person has gone through a lot of challenges. Maybe they've gone through a lot of challenges in their life. Okay, but I feel like this person is getting ready to reach out to you. Okay, if it's somebody new here as well. Let me put the cards back how they were. Let's clarify now. Let's clarify. Um, oops. I was clarifying this King of Cups. The Page of Wands popped out. Yeah, look at that. Seven of Pentacles again. Bottom of the deck here is the Empress. So they see you as the empress. They see you as somebody who is very abundant. Somebody who's very kind, very nurturing. Now, it doesn't matter, you know, if it's male or female. It's about the energy. They see a lot of growth with you, okay? Uh, with this observe card, I also get a lot of um, energy of new beginnings, growth, right? Prosperity, can see there's a beautiful rainbow but it's coming on uh, the crown chakra there okay so you may be receiving intuitive messages from the divine here to help you during this time but i see this person here seven of pentacles uh, page of wands king of cups i feel like this person wants to invest okay invest time with you i see this person reflecting I see communication coming your way, especially too with this Eight of Wands. Let's see here. Why is the Eight of Wands here, please? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Oh, okay. Look at that. Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have the Three of Swords. So, you know, a lot of you, you know, if this is somebody here, like I said, broke your heart here. There was some something here that happened that was devastating. I feel it's possible, too, that this person here in the past, maybe they didn't offer, any, you know, anything stable here, you know, relationship, commitment here. Okay, it feels like there's a lot of hurt there. You have the Ace of Wands and you have the Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, this person is coming back around. They want another opportunity. However, I do see here Aries, you have the Queen of Swords, 
Uh, I really feel like this person, you know, I feel like this is in their energy. I feel this is somebody who, you know, they came up as the King of Swords as well. So both of you may be guarded. Like I said, I feel, you know, there is definitely mirroring energy here. This person is coming around with communication. I see a lot, a lot of communication. Okay, if this is a newer person, like somebody you didn't see for a long time or you didn't and there wasn't a lot of time together, I would just be careful here with the double card and all these wands here. You know, this could be somebody who could be a temptation, right? Coming back around uh, maybe for some passion. So I would just say be careful of that if it's somebody newer. But I do see this person wants the opportunity to open up communication with you again. A lot of communication energy in your reading. Now let's see why this Four of Cups is here, please. Why is this Four of Cups here, please? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. The Tower. Let's get one more. Look at that, the Four of Cups. And we have a Judgment card. <clears throat> Okay, so this is this is an energy here where I feel either somebody new is coming in or this is somebody, um, for a lot of you, if you're dealing with someone, this is somebody coming back around, wanting to work on things, wanting to heal things with you, okay? And I feel what's happening here is you're, you're making that judgment call because you're not too sure about this person, their intentions right? Their actions here. You have the Four of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Tower, and the Four of Cups, okay? So this is what I'm seeing here is I feel this offer here, this person, this cup here is coming back around to you, okay? The universe is giving another chance here. We have the Ace of Cups and we have um, right here, and we have the Ace of Wands. So this person I feel is wanting another opportunity with you to work on things, okay? Um, to maybe rebuild, rebuild the foundation, rebuild the trust. But I see that you're hesitant and probably with good reason here because I do see a lot of pain here, devastation. So let's get some final messages here for the potential uh, for this situation for Aries. A lot of you, this feels like somebody you already know, but it could be that uh, you've got somebody new coming in here, all right? Right. You have the Six of Cups. You have the Queen of Cups. And I want to also say, when I take it to the extended, we'll look at your person, what they're thinking, feeling, upcoming actions, their intentions, love messages, and guidance. And I'll take a peek at new love as well. The Tower. Yeah, bottom of the deck here, you have the Emperor. There's your energy there, Aries. So I feel what's going to happen is... You're going to get communication from this person, right? It's going to happen when you least expect it. For some of you, it may trigger a lot of emotions I'm getting here with the Queen of Cups. And also, you know, it definitely feels like it's going to trigger memories. It's going to trigger a lot of things for you, a lot of emotion here. You know, a lot of emotions in this reading I'm getting here too with the solar plexus chakra. Okay, so I feel out of the blue. Um... When you're not expecting it, this person is coming towards you, or why coming towards you, wanting to open up communication with you and rebuild this foundation. For those of you, it's somebody that you already know. So Aries, I'm going to take uh, this to the extent that I'm going to look at things a bit deeper here. So I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel light.